Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today I'm reviewing a Ranji Boom. When I was sort of a young man discovering beer, sort of in the late 80s, um, a Ranji Boom was always synonymous with really high strength lager, um, and I can't remember drinking it then. Recently, they seem to have, have re sort of branded themselves, and the first one I started to see around is a 5%. Uh, comes in a blue can, but what's the why review a five percent lager when you can review an eight point five percent lager? Um, and it'd be really interesting to try this one. The last eight point five I had was OJ. When that first came out, I thought that was a rebranding of Orangi Boom, you know, OJ Orangi, but it isn't. Um, so it'll be really interesting to try what this one tastes like. So. I'm hoping for sort of big multi flavours. Um, is there anyone to find out? Let's get it open. Okay. Not bad. You can always get a decent head on the chalice, or unless I'm pouring it and then half the glass is head. Okay. So what we have there is quite a light sort of lager style sort of beer there. I was expecting a slightly darker amber colour, but it's more sort of golden. Bit of malt on the nose there. Not that hit of sweetness I was expecting with a stronger lager. But not much. Okay, let's dive in. There's that big multi flavour. Again, most of the high strength lagers have that big multi sort of punch. Um, and I'm quite liking that. A little bit of sweetness there on the palate. Trying to think back to less than the skull super lager. Um, God, traffic. Less than the Skull Super Lager, uh, but not as much. Yeah, not as much as the OJ. I'm wishing I'd have put these side by side. There's a thought for a future video. That's really nice. Bit of bitterness there. And I'm not picking up many other flavours. That malt sort of rolling over you. So yeah, just, it's not too heavily carbonated either, just really refreshing, big multi bite. Mm. I mean, I do like the design, that's what stood out on the, on the, on the shelf of the supermarket. Cracking design, sort of slight matte finish. I've got some close-up of all the little artwork on the back there. Um, and it is, you know, a cracking bit of design. What I did notice is that they also do an exactly the same livery. Uh, might have been a slightly more orange tinge, but a 7.5. But I thought, let's go for the 8.5, direct comparison to the OJ. I've got a bit of warmth that's going on there, that sort of alcohol warmth. Um, not quite like having a short, but you know, it's very pleasant. Well, of all the high strength lagers that I've tried, this one is the best. If you like a strong beer, um, give it a go. It's definitely worth a try. Um, if I remember rightly, this was two pounds. Of all the ones that I've tried, this this is one of the best. I could, you know, is it is it streets ahead of the rest? I 
I think this is the best high strength lager I've tried to date. Um, let me know what you think. <clears throat> um, if you like your stronger lagers, you're full of flavours, drop it in the comments below. Tell me if I'm on the nail. If you've got one that's better, please recommend it. If I can sort it out, I'll give it a go. Um, but I would, you know, I'd recommend giving this one a, a try. So there you go. Hope you're enjoying these as much as I'm going to enjoy this one. If you are, please hit the like and subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. Cheers.